Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick way you can make this cool effect um, in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. First of all, just import your photo into Photoshop. I got this image from pexels.com. It's a website. They've got free images, copyright free photos. And I use them quite a bit because I just find it to be super easy. And I just usually find whatever it is I'm looking for on there. So we'll first need to uh, fix up this image. I'll just use generative fill and I'll select the left side of the dock and just generative fill to fill that in. Uh, this looks pretty cool. So I'll just select both layers, right click and convert to smart object. Now we have our image. I would get my um, lasso tool, which is this tool right over here, and uh, make a selection of whatever it is you want to smudge or move. I'll just select part of her face without getting too much of the hair. And I'll kind of be precise, but it's not that important. So make my selection. And then I'll right click and select layer via copy. This will make a new layer with the selection we have. And it indeed did. So with this layer, I'll duplicate it two times. And uh, I'll just hold down the command key on my Mac and click on the thumbnail of the layer to select it. Make sure to select the layer you want to fill in with the black. And I'm just going to fill it in with black. There we go. We can now show up all our other layers. And we'll move the top layer um, away, wherever we want it to be. You can also push it all the way over here. Now, what we want to do is basically just duplicate this top layer two more times. And each one of the each one of these three layers is going to be a color, so we're going to RGB split them. Uh, just double click on the layer and deselect the green and red channels to leave the blue one. You can see what it looks like with just that one selected. And we're going to double click on the second layer and only leave the green channel selected and do the same with the top one, but leave the red. So what happens now is Basically looks normal, but we're going to get our smudge tool next and we're going to make it a little smaller. And we're just going to start smudging and you can see the effect is already coming to life. Um, this is the red channel we're smudging. So you can just select the layer underneath it, which was the green one and start smudging that too. red. And green makes yellow, so that's why the yellow is popping up. And if you go on past the yellow, you get the green. Select the bottom one, which should be the blue. And it's just going to mix up. You basically want all these smudged colors to go inside of the black shape we made. I'm basically just going back and smudging more and more all the layers. You can then increase the brush size when you're past here and just blur more. I'll make the green one a little more wiggly, you know, like that, and the blue one as well. So we get a nice color separation. Now we're gonna shape, we're gonna fix these little bits and pieces that we didn't properly select earlier. You can just do that with the brush tool. Basically, the last thing I did was on top of everything, just go to the adjustments tab and I just added a hue and saturation adjustment and added more saturation. Um, this works really well if your image underneath it is black and white. Otherwise, you can just um, add a layer mask to the effect to make it affect just the smudged part. 
Lastly, I just I just select all the layers, right click, convert to smart object, just add some noise in there. You can also add some textures and all that good stuff. But that's the basics of how I made this. There's endless opportunities and endless artwork you can create by using this RGB splitting technique in either Photoshop or you can make some really amazing stuff in After Effects as well by using this same principle. But yeah, go try it out. Tag me in the stuff you create by using this technique and comment down below what you'd like to see next. If you have tutorial requests or if you have questions, just, just type them down below and I'll be happy to answer them or make tutorials for those topics. Um, apart from that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved the video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.